speaker tonight is Colin Rowe with a speech titled Laughter Isn't Funny. Laughter Isn't Funny, Colin Rowe. until I realized the dangers of laughter and how they're capable of causing serious injuries, could get you locked up in a Cuban jail, and worse. So please listen to my advice tonight. It could potentially save your life. You won't catch any goldfish up there. Some of you might remember the alternative comedy around the late 70s. And that was one of my favorite phrases from that. A lot of people didn't find this funny, but I did, and I used it quite a lot. I would have been around 16, and I was cycling one day. I cycled past an ESP van, and there was a man up a ladder fixing something on the pole. I was cycling past. <laughs> you won't catch any goldfish up there! <laughs> I thought this was hilarious. Cycling along, looking back to see what its reaction was, not seeing where I was going, and crashed into the next pole. <laughs> Quick as you like, he shouts back at me, No, but you'll definitely catch a gobshite with that ball. <laughs> <laughs> he was still laughing as I was carted onto the ambulance <laughs> to be treated for a broken collarbone and concussion. It was around that time that it started to dawn on me that humour isn't funny, that it's a dangerous thing and it could potentially end your life. When I was about 28, myself and my wife went on holidays to Cuba. It was a long flight, so my wife decided to take a sleeping tablet, which meant that I was on my own, left to my own devices for the whole flight, completely unsupervised. <laughs> <laughs> the flight originated in Moscow, we boarded in Shannon, we were being dropped off in Havana, and then the flight was going on to Lima. Now, I met some Russian fishermen on the plane. Not really a good idea. Me, a typical Irishman, looking for any excuse for an extra drink. The Russian guys, the only excuse that they need is that they're Russian. So, their English wasn't great. My Russian was <laughs> not existent. So we used my, we use sketches to try and communicate, and drink is a great lubricant as well. I had an absolutely amazing flight, it's about 11 hours. We drank the plane completely out of alcohol. I had a litre of duty free, we finished that off. <laughs> By the time I got to Havana, I was a little bit merry to say the least. It came to my turn to approach a very stern, angry looking military officer at immigration. I handed him my passport. And he seemed to be taking an awful long time looking at the passport, looking up at me, looking at I started to wonder if I had forgotten something really nasty that I did in my past. And then eventually he did. Something he shouldn't have done in front of someone who was half caught. Something he shouldn't have done in front of someone who hadn't quite yet appreciated the dangers of inappropriate laughter. He cleared his nose. Now, this wasn't just a little sniffle. He went... <laughs> <laughs> now, I went into hysterics. And this far away from the man, absolute hysterics. And I'm just looking at him laughing. 
I thought this was the funniest thing I ever heard. In my life. <laughs> and this went on for a while, and his eyes were bulging, and they got bigger and bigger the more I laughed. Eventually, he said, "Something is funny." And I said, "Yeah." <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> of course, I laughed even more then. Now. Cuban jails wouldn't really be a great place for a fussy eating heterosexual. <laughs> and I must have lost quite a few of my nine lives that day. <laughs> Eventually, he stamped the passport. It was the stampiest stamp my little passport I ever received. <laughs> and literally threw it at me. I began to see a pattern. Laughter was gone for even the day. Believe me or not, but I mean, if you look at comedians, most of them are miserable, unhappy people. If they don't die young, if they last to middle age, they end up wrecked by depression, drink, and drug abuse. <coughs> so, smile occasionally, maybe. <laughs> Smiles can lead to laughter, like marijuana can lead to heroin. <laughs> so, the next time somebody says to you, or somebody tries to make you laugh, for God's sake, just say no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>